Yes, hello there guys, girls, people of the internet and the YouTube gaming community. My name is Beeper Gaming, and today I'm bringing you guys another video and more news and information about Assassin's Creed Syndicate from an interview with Mark Alexis Cote. Now this is from the ones who came before, their official Facebook page, which you can check in the description and in the comment section. So let's get straight on with the news. So now, entering buildings through windows has, has been improved since AC Unity and should feel smoother. But this obviously is declaring that we will be able to enter buildings, hopefully we can enter the parliaments and Big Ben. Stealth has become more accessible for players by removing snapping and several button inputs. The streets of Victorian London are much wider than in previous games, obviously because of the carts, the carriages and the rope launcher. The buildings are much more taller than in previous games, because of the roof, um, rope launcher, the, the easier it is for players to get onto rooftops, the more they can enjoy the game. It was important for the team to make London feel authentic, especially for the people who are from London. The carriages in Syndicate were made wider than what they actually were, in historic, in, were historically to improve gameplay and to increase fun. The team was very careful, working on the width of the Thames to make the scale feel authentic. The murder mysteries were making a return under the new name of The Dead Dreadful Crimes, it's a different take on the same idea. The side content, content, content aims to have a purpose in the game, so that the players is not player is not just doing random activities. Everything is related to the idea of conquering the city. A lot of the side activities are related to building your gang up and spreading your influence throughout London. London upgrades allow you to make economical advances to London that benefit the player. Now, to me, this sounds more like the Assassin's Creed. Brotherhood, where you could upgrade, you know, Rome, upgrade different parts of it, which then made you more money, and also gave you discounts from stores. Hopefully, this will be what it's like. For example, you can bribe the police to make them attack the enemy gang more than they will attack you. This is because the police are a neutral faction in the game, so bribing them will give you an advantage. There will be there are many things that you can invest in via the London upgrades that will change your experience. Like I just said, clothes shop, probably weapons train systems, stuff like that. The Blighters are the enemy gang faction in the game. They are very identifiable, ident the, I can't get this, uh, identifiable enemy and can be identified by their red clothing. You can invest in your gang to make them more powerful and useful to you. The end goal is to turn London green, the colour of the ropes. Because multiplayer and co-op have been removed this year, it allows all the studios to work on building one experience for the players. Now, he goes on to say, I want players to have a smile on their face on October 23rd when we launch the game, that's for sure. So guys, let me know about these facts you think in the question below. Obviously, what buildings do you want to enter in London? That's the main question I want you to answer. Personally, I want to actually be able to climb, not just up the side of Big Ben, but inside, you know, looking at the clockwork. Now that would be awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have, remember to hit the like button, subscribe and ready for the latest and greatest information on Assassin's Creed Syndicate and the latest Assassin's Creed games. Bye for now and have a great day.